This is the title of abstract number 154 in ICS 2021. Here is the disclosure of the information of the speaker along with the conflicts of interest. The aim of this study is to investigate if the bladder wall thickening on the CT scan could be found in patients with both harness and non-harness interstitial cystitis. One of the aim of the study is to explore the possible role of bladder thickening in a CT scan as a predictive sign for the bladder-centered ICBPS. In this study, 100 consecutive patients with proven ICBPS were enrolled. We exclude patients who had any previous urologic procedures in the recent six months. We also enrolled 20 controls who had a bladder CT scan and without any previous urologic diseases. The bladder CT results were classified into three subtypes, one of which was smooth bladder wall when there was even thickness throughout the bladder. If the bladder wall thickening only involved in parts of the bladder, the CT result was classified as focal bladder wall thickening. If the bladder wall thickening involved over half of the bladder, the bladder CT scan was classified as diffuse bladder wall thickening. We also analyzed the association of bladder wall thickness subtypes with IC symptoms, urodynamic parameters, maximal bladder capacities, grasm agglomeration, the presence of harness lesion, and some histopathological features of bladder information. Picture 1 show figure 1 showed CT scan bladder images in patients with ICPPS. Picture A was smooth bladder wall. Picture B, C, D were focal bladder wall thickening. Picture E and F were diffuse bladder wall thickening. Figure 2 showed the bladder wall thickening and a grace of accumulation under cystoscopy hydrodistension in patients with ICPPS. Picture A, B, and C demonstrated a patient with smooth bladder wall in the transverse and the coronal section of the bladder CT scan, and the grade 1 glomeration under hydrodistension. Picture D in at F demonstrated a patient with focal thickening bladder wall in transverse and the coronal section of pelvis bladder CT and a grade 2 glomeration under hydrodistension. Picture K, L, and M showed a patient with diffuse thickening of the bladder in transverse section and the coronal section of a CT scan and a harness lesion under cystoscopy. Among 100 consecutive patients, 49 ICBPS patients had a smooth bladder wall, 36 had focal thickening and 15 had diffuse thickening. Table 1 showed the patient's demographics and the clinical data of these 100 patients the age, duration of disease, gender distribution, and the proportion of previous abdominal or pelvic surgery in the ICPPS patients were not different between the three CT subgroups. The proportion of diffuse and focal thickening were higher in patients with harness IC than non-harness IC. Among all the symptom scales, only ICSI showed a trend to significantly increase from smooth bladder wall to focal and to diffuse thickening. The difference of objective unidynamic parameters were more significant among the patients, including first sensation of feeling, fullness sensation, cystoscopy, bladder capacity, CBC, and avoided volume. The patients with diffuse blood wall thickening had the smallest CBC and avoided volume. After excluding the patients with harness IC, only CBC and the maximal blood capacity MBC were still smaller in patients with diffuse blood thickening. Figure 3 showed the association between various ICPPS classification and the blood wall thickening in CT scan. In Figure 3b, with ESSIC cystoscopy classification. Type 3 patients had more focal or diffuse bladder wall thickening, but the difference was not, was not significant between type 1 and type 2. In Figure 3C, we classified the non harness IC patients according to the combination of MBC and the combination.
The results show a significantly higher proportion of focal or diffuse blood wall thickening in patients with smaller MBC and a smaller grace of glomerulation. Table shows the association between blood wall thickening in CT and histopathologic results. We can see a higher proportion of inflammation cells, infiltration, neural epithelial cell denudation, and granulation tissue in patients with diffuse thickness of bladder wall, and a second higher in focal thickness. The proportion of ESSIC type C was higher in ICPPS patients with diffuse or focal bladder wall thickening. Although fibrosis under HE staining was not significantly different, Manson trigone staining revealed different histopathologically fibrosis characteristics in each CT groups. Figure 4A to 4C showed the patients with smooth bladder wall had hardly any obvious collagen accumulation in the bladder specimens. In contrast, figure 4D to 4F showed patients with focal bladder thickening had obvious collagen deposition in the bladder deep lamina propria. Figure 4G to 4I showed the patients with diffuse blood wall thickening had even thicker collagen fibers deposition in both superficial and the deep lamina propria. One of the main limitations of this study was the lack of standardization of blood volume during CT scanning because patients with interstitial cystitis could not hold much urine. As a result, blood wall thickening could not be precisely determined by a quantified definition. Yet the generation the general classification in this study is convenient and su suitable in clinical practice. The treatment outcome was not was only accessed by a single urologist, which begs more objectivity. Although we had excluded patients with intravesical treatments in recent six months, most subjects in this study had various intravesical treatment and blood biopsy prior to this time frame which might cause focal inflammation and fibrosis in the bladder. <clears throat> in conclusion, this study revealed that the bladder wall thickening under CT imaging is correlated to the clinical phenotypes of ICPPS, as well as the histopathological findings. Focal or diffuse bladder wall thickening in CT imaging might indicate the presence of chronic inflammation and fibrosis in bladder wall and is commonly found in ICPPS patients with a smaller MBC, higher grades of accumulation, and the presence of harness lesion. As a result, bladder wall thickening in CT imaging could be used to differentiate the bladder-centered ICPPS.